Hello and welcome back to Introduction to Light Painting. During this lesson, we'll be going over necessities. So this is everything you'll need in order to start doing your own light painting photos. Number one, you're going to need a tripod. You'll need a tripod to keep your camera steady during the course of a long exposure. You'll want something lightweight and relatively portable. Number two, you're going to want to have a camera itself in order to shoot the photo. So you can use a variety of cameras to do this. What I'll be using throughout this course for the camera settings is a 7D, a Canon 7D. And basically you want a camera that's capable of shooting in bulb mode. That is the B setting on your uh, manual adjustments. So once you have bulb mode on your camera set, there's another part that you'll want to use, which is a remote. You're going to want a remote to uh, open and close the shutter of your camera. So you click the button to open it, you click again to close the shutter. Now another thing you can use is an intravolometer or a remote shutter release cord. This is something that plugs into your camera and then you click up and that opens the shutter you pull it down to close the shutter. Now, another thing that's very important throughout light, light painting photography is the light source you use. There are a variety of different light sources you can use to create different effects in camera. Number one is an LED light, flashlight or torch, and you can use all sorts of different colors for these. Um, it doesn't matter what colors you use, and they all come out a little bit different in the photograph. One thing I strongly advise against using towards the lens of your camera is a laser. You don't want to point a laser into the camera lens. It's okay to point it the opposite direction, away from your lens, but if you point the laser towards your lens, uh, it's very possible to do a lot of damage to your camera sensor. What it does is basically it overloads the amount of light that goes in your camera and, and it, uh, it will basically produce like a line that goes through each and every one of your images. You don't wanna do it, it's a good way to ruin a very expensive piece of equipment. So now that we have all the necessities here, we'll be moving on to finding a spot during the next lesson. Thanks for listening.